Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. For this video, I will be turning this Rochelle Ghoul into the Angel of Time. Before anything else, I prepare the doll for customization, which means I remove her hair and makeup. I start by cutting the hair and soaking her head in warm water to soften the head and glue so it's e both are easier to remove. I then remove her face with 100% acetone. And the doll is ready to be customized. Before beginning the reroute, I paint the scalp. The hair color I chose is a gold blonde with some highlights of pink. I actually use all the hair in this shop because I actually didn't have enough of the one shade of blonde I decided to go with, but it all worked out in the end. For the reroute, I fill the outer line and the part fully before doing the rest of her head, mixing in the different shades along the way. Once the reroute is done, I fill the head with glue and flatten the hair with hot water. For the style, I take some straws and bobby pins to curl the hair. To set the curls, I dunk the hair in hot water and cold. Once fully dry, I remove the straws and bobby pins and use hairspray just to make sure the curls stay. I am still learning how to style doll hair, but her hair turned out pretty good. As always, I start with spraying the face with Mr. Super Clear. I blush the eyes with pinks and gold along with the lips and at the whites of the eyes, her two main eyes, the two on her cheeks, and the one on her forehead. I add multiple eyes because when looking up angels, many of the depictions had eyes everywhere on their faces, wings, and sometimes even their bodies. So I wanted to add some extra eyes just to make her even less human and more angelic. Her eye color was tough. I started first with all gray and then I wanted some blue, but it didn't really fit. So for the extra eyes, I left them gray and for the main eyes, I kept one full white and the other full gold. Off camera, I added feathers to her eyes instead of eyelashes and I also added gold cracks. The face up is very simple, but the rest of her design will be the main focus. After I was happy, I glossed her eyes and lips. So for her outfit, there will be three parts, the corset, the underdress, and the layered skirts. I did intend to give her long flowing sleeves, but decided it was too much. Let's start with the corset. The pattern is from DG Requiem. I cut the pieces out of a silk gold rose fabric and sewed it all together and tested it on the doll. To fit my design, I take this cream fabric and use pins to create artificial folds and use my iron to iron them into place and manually sew it onto the corset. For the skirts, there will be three layers of different size and lengths out of two different fabrics, a cream, silk, and a gold sparkle tulle. For each layer, I gather each piece and then sew them all together. To test how it will look, I pin the first two layers to the corset. Looking good so far. The pattern I use for the skirt layers is from DG Requiem, two different um, patterns. To add more drama, I uh, lengthen one of the pattern pieces to create a long train. So to attach the skirts to the corset, I'm going to sew on snaps to both pieces so that the skirt is removable. I couldn't sew the skirts directly to the corset because then it wouldn't be able to fit on the doll because the skirt's opening is in the front and the corset's opening is in the back. So the snaps are the easiest solution, though it is still a struggle to put on the doll.
Now for the underdress. I am using this dress pattern from DG Requiem. I cut out the pieces from the cream silk and sewed them together. And this is when Oscar decided to pay you guys a visit. He loves just getting into trouble and climbing on my chair and jumping onto my desk when I'm working. But this time, he's my little assistant making sure I'm doing it all correctly. Once the dress is done, I sew on the snaps to the back, and the dress is supposed to fit over the chest, but I put it under the chest so that it is more tight-fitting and not too thick under the corset. After the outfit is all sewed, I paint shimmer and rose gold blush for extra details and add more dimension to the outfit. For the skirts, I use 3D paint to add some decor around the edges and use gold blush and shimmer to change the color from white to gold. I did this for each layer. To make sure the shimmer and blush stays, I spray each skirt with Mr. Super Clear. It actually works really well in sealing everything in. And I gave the underskirt and corset the same treatment. I do love how it all turned out. The rose gold I used is actually blushing from like eyeshadow blushing. Lately I've been using more makeup as blushing instead of pastels. It is more pigmented and I find it sticks to the dolls much better. For the body I blush with pinks and golds and the same rose gold eyeshadow. I then paint gold cracks and use gold leaf to add some extra details. My idea behind this is that over time, her body of stone is beginning to chip away and crack, revealing her gold core underneath. She lives with time, and as the stone chips away from her body, time slowly chips away, or something like that.
Time for the extra details. For her halo, I used these gold pieces and chains to create a crown-like headdress. I pin it to another Rochelle head I had, and just to figure out the placement and everything, and I just sewed the chains to the gold pieces. For her staff, I took a wooden stick and glued a ribbon and gold wires, just wrapping them all around. To fit it with the outfit, I used the same gold shimmer and blush to color the stick. Now, if anyone knows where this doohickey is from, you get extra points. I like the rings and the moving parts along with the hourglass. So to attach it to the stick, I feed the wire around one of the rings, making sure the middle one is still able to move. I then wrap it around the stick. And to fully secure the ring to the stick, I use epoxy scalp just to strengthen it. And once the clay is dry, I cover it with more gold leaf. Now for the hardest part, the wings. Well, the most time consuming, really. Cutting the feathers into the right shape took hours and feather just got like everywhere. I draw out the basic shape from craft foam and use wire to make sure the wings can be posed. Once that is done, I start gluing the feathers onto the wings, some gold, some cream. And to attach them to the body, I just used Rochelle Gould's old gargoyle wings and I just cut it so I could just get the pieces that attach to her body. And I just glued that to the end of the wings. And with that, the wings are done. And here is the final doll, the Angel of Time. She has been here at the beginning, and she will be here at the end. Her body of stone slowly falling away with time, revealing her gold core. She knows how precious time is, so she is here to remind us to take our time and enjoy life, because before we know it, time will run out. I just love how she turned out. Better than I was expecting, really. Favorite part? Definitely her outfit. I love getting name suggestions from you guys, so if anyone has any ideas, please leave a comment and the best one will be chosen. Thank you all for joining me today in creating this doll. It was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more part of my process and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.